Hey, Polo Buddies, thanks for watching. In this video, I am going to talk to you about a big money bolo. One of them is used and sold for over $100. So what am I talking about? Let's get started. Hey, Polo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. All right, so someone in my Facebook group posted this. It says, out thrifting, I came across a Yankee candle I've never seen. The scent is New Zealand Wild Berry. Looked it over, found it to be brand new. Looked it up on eBay to find just a few of them listed for crazy prices, 150 to 250. It's a retired scent. Sold comps for two are 155 shipped and 55 shipped. Current listings much higher. I'm only nine invested and don't mind sitting on it, but don't have to sit on it for two years. What would you list it for with this info? All right. So she included a picture of her item. She did some research. So this is a great post for the Facebook group. Um, she's asking for advice, but she did some research. So let me show you something here. Over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel right here, used candle sells for big money on eBay. This used candle right here, you can see it is majorly used and it sold for 125. You guys go over to my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel and check out that video. I will also link it down below. But in this video, I'm going to share with you some other big money Bolo candles to be on the lookout for. So let's start here with one you may not know about. It is a party light candle. Now, most party light candles, they're not bolos, but some of these retired three wick six by eight candles can definitely be a bolo. This one sold for $90. This is what you're looking for. If you see this at a garage sale, look it up. All the information is right there on the bottom for you to look up solds, just go to sold listings and check your comps. You can see right here that this was paid for. It looks like they had two of them, two different cents, one sold for 90 and one best offer of 105. Now I will tell you, not all candles are created equally. Some of these are going to be bread and butter. Some of these are going to be big money. It's going to depend on is the item retired? Is the scent no longer being sold? Was there limited quantity sold in the beginning? Like maybe they just had a limited edition or a limited run and they're harder to find because what do people do when they get candles? They burn them like this right here. This is a rare Yankee candle lumber scented. This candle is burnt, used very little, but nonetheless, this has been used. A best offer was taken and I went over to Terra Peak and I looked it up. If you guys are not using Terra Peak, it is a great tool you just copy the title and put it into the search bar on Terapeak. I copied the title, put it in the search bar, and it will tell me what the sold price is. This sold for $90. All right, Bolo Buddies, we are now going to go over to WorthPoint and look at some of the really high solds over there so we can look at some of the different scents that are selling for big money that may not be active in the last 90 days. So WorthPoint is great for that. I have a whole bunch of videos, not a whole bunch, like three or four videos on WorthPoint, how I use it. WorthPoint, you do have to pay for. I do have a referral link down below. Is it worth it? It's up to you. It's kind of pricey, so you have to decide if you need it for your business. It took me a long time to get it because I'm, you know, pretty thrifty, um, like I imagine most of you are. But what I have learned is it actually makes me money. And in those videos, just type in Bolo Buddies Worth Point and it will pull up those videos where I show you how it's helping me make more money. I like to prove it. <laughs> but anyway, um, let's look at some of these solds real quick. Okay, so obviously I like to go in and verify items. I am not doing that now, but let's just keep some of these um, scents in mind. And I know it sounds like I'm saying, does that make sense? I have a hard time saying the word scent with a plural, sense. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so this one is Starry Night. It says that it sold in 2020 for $899.95. Um, again, they've got white label in the title. Here's one called Herb Garden, $499.95, 2020. So I imagine these are just really, really hard to find. Garden Pond. So look up every single Yankee candle that you see, okay? Because some of them can go for crazy money. We are gonna scroll and see. These are come with a Boyd's Bear, so I guess you're looking for a Boyd's Bear candle. The candle that goes with the bear. Mom's Apple Pie sold for $129.95. Huh, you guys, the Boyd's Bear with the candle. It looks like that's a hot, a hot commodity. Is that the right word I want to use? Commodity? All right, I changed the search a little bit. I took out 22 ounce and I put in white label. So I have no idea why that came up, but here's three candles that sold for $679.95. Lotus Mandarin Spring Water. I mean, still, that's a lot of money for three candles. And that was 2021. Royal Frankincense, $509.95. I think I talked about that one in the other video. That one sounds really familiar. Uh, Trick or Treat, 382. Again, you see this one says Black Band. Silver White Winters. Um, we've got The Power, 349.95. Garden Pond again. Uh, Silver White Winters. Silver White Winters. And that one comes with a Longenberger basket. Vanilla Winds, Vanilla Oak, Hearth Side. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have a retired scent that you like. Snow Magic. So this is where um, Worth Point is really, really great because you're getting to look at retired scents that sold, you know, over a year ago. And these are things that may not change in value because they are retired and hard to find. All right, so let's keep going here. I'm gonna show you sold comps on Mercari and Poshmark also. Okay, before we continue, I just wanna let you guys know that I am gonna be on Whatnot on Sunday at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm gonna be doing a this and that vintage show. I'm gonna have some jewelry and just a lot of stuff. So I will link my whatnot down below. If you guys use my referral link to join, you're gonna get $15 to shop. And my show is already there and you can go and bookmark it right now if you want to. I hope to see you guys there. No pressure to buy. I just wanted to give you a heads up that I am having a show Sunday night. All right, Bolo Buddies, I am having a show, a this and that show, Vintage to Now, Sunday at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's just a bunch of stuff. Um, there's all kinds of stuff in these totes. We're going to be going through it, and we're going to get through what we can and schedule another show if we don't get through it. There's some fabric down here. There's some miscellaneous stuff up here, and I have a huge money pile, so we are going to have a good time. Let's go on to the next one here. This is a jelly donut and cafe uh, Yankee candle. Now, one thing that I was told is if they have this white banner on the bottom, that those are an older retired style. Now, I did not confirm that. I can't remember where I learned that. I talked about it in the other video. So um, again, there's a barcode on the bottom. You can always try to scan the barcode. It may not pull up. You may have to actually type it in to the solds and see what the comps are. Some of these are going to be bread and butter. Some of them are going to be big money. The 22 ounce ones um, seem to be the ones that are also worth more because they are bigger candles. Now, even if the candle is used, if it is a candle that um, is really hard to find, you're still going to get big bucks for those. More of the candle that is used probably is going to bring down the value. But if it is a scent that is super hard to find, you may be surprised at the comp. So definitely look them up. Um, another thing I read is that if it has this black and white or Yankee around the top, 
I guess you're looking for the pattern of the label. Those are indicators of when it was made and if the item is retired. So this says black band. So I'm assuming they're talking about the top here. And I'm assume, assuming also that that is important information for maybe a person that is looking for this Yankee candle. Of course, always put in the title how many ounces and what the scent is. Okay. And you can see right here that they did get feedback for this item. So it was a good sale. It sold for $199.99. Here is one called Silver White Winters. Oh my goodness. If you find this scent, you definitely want to pick it up. It sold for almost $600. That is incredible. Um, it is in new condition. It is new old stock. Um, just wow. And again, you see it's got the banner down here that's white, which is what I am told um, is one thing to look for when you're looking for these candles. Almost $600 for a candle. And looky here, right here, right here. Sold, paid for. Everything from packaging, comms, mailing, it was excellent. Best yet, we'll do it again as long as there is candles here and I have the money. Holy grail of candles and seller. Great job. So yeah, definitely big money. Now, can these candles go for big money over on Mercari? This one sold for 130 This is a man candle. Um, that's what they called it in the title. This one is unused, sold for $130. It is a white label. So you can see down in the description, white label. So assuming this is what they're talking about. And it says two by four. So that is the scent. And I saw this over on eBay also. This is definitely a scent to look for. It seems like the manly scents seem to be harder to find and go for a lot of money also. Here's another one, mower. This one is called mower. And you can see right here, riding mower sold for 120. So again, sort of a probably manly scent. This one here is jelly donut and it sold for 105. And this is also a used candle. Used candle, everyone. Um, you see it right here. $105 plus shipping for one single used candle. It's got the white uh, banner and it is 22 ounces. Party Light. Let's look at Party Light over on Mercari. $140 for this one. Here's the information on the bottom. It looks like this one has the box. And look, down here, it even has a defect. It's a three wick pillar candle, six by eight, $140 plus shipping. Here's another one, new. This one also has, um, let's see. No, that one's all right. It's got the party light thing. Yeah, it's got some damage to it. Still sold for 106 plus shipping. So these pillar candles, Party light, definitely be on the lookout. I don't know if I would have put new on this. I and I probably would have put unused and disclosed, you know, right here, because this is kind of important for somebody who doesn't have something to sit this in and may just want to sit this out. Of course, you can turn it and maybe not show that area, but um, definitely I would disclose that if it were me. Yankee candle on Poshmark, 22 ounce black band. Again, the black band was mentioned in this one. It has um, the white banner square in the or uh, rectangle in the middle. This one is hearts and flowers sold for 115 plus shipping. Here is another one. This is the same one that was over on um, Mercari. And you can see here they put eBay sold comps showing what it sold for on eBay. So they knew what it sold for. Um, and they priced it at a hundred dollars and sold it. Another thing to look for are these Yankee candle tarts. There's 19 of them here and these sold for $99. Um, I did look these up on eBay solds also. They're kind of all over the place. They range from bread and butter to big money. Most people are allotting these, but if you can find them at garage sales cheap, Definitely be on the lookout for them. 
All right. Another thing to keep in mind is in the summer when it's really hot, candles can melt during shipment. I don't know how to help you with that. If anybody has any uh, feedback that you want to leave down in the comments, please do that. Um, if you learn something new, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a video down below, um, and a subscribe button. So please subscribe and check out my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. And I will link that other candle video in the description because I go a little more in depth in that video with different scents to look up, to look for. Um, so different smells, <laughs> scents. I feel like when I say scents, it uh, sounds like I'm saying, does that make sense? <laughs> Just another word I say funny. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here and thanks for watching. Uh, ex you know, the more that's used, the worse, the less, I can't talk.